Sure, he's rich and he's famous. He's got a lot of followers and haters alike. And as you might know, he gets a lot, I mean a whole lot of women, and he doesn't have to work for them. Which makes you wonder, is there a way for ordinary guys to get girls effortlessly like Dan Bilzerian without the money? My name is Matt Artisan from The Attractive Man, and I'll reveal how in this video. I'm Matt. He has mastered the art of seduction. Many boot camps encourage men to be assertive. A woman wants to be turned on. We've done all the testing, we know what works. Dan Bilzerian has 97, possibly more, guns in his house. He claims he's preparing for the zombie apocalypse. He's got millions of dollars in his account. He has over 22 million Instagram followers. I'm not exaggerating here, just check out his Instagram. Now, you might think he's a douche or you might not agree with his values, but we're not here to judge. The fact is, he's a master at getting girls effortlessly. He doesn't have to work for them. And in this video, I'll break down what he's doing and how you can do the same. Pay special attention to the last technique because it can completely change your dating life. It's a total game changer. Now, let's break this down. Number one, he possesses all the attractive traits of a bad boy. The fact is that just because a guy is good looking and has money doesn't mean that he'll effortlessly get girls. I know this because I've personally coached guys that have had money, good looks, and fame. In fact, one guy was a famous rapper. The first bad boy trait that he has is he's very masculine. He has huge muscles, he fights, he shoots guns, he drives off-road vehicles, and he has a beard fit for a king. His whole beingness oozes with masculinity, and women love that. You see, in general, men are attracted to very feminine women, and women are attracted to very masculine men. So start to really bring out that masculine man inside of you. The second bad boy trait that he has is he flat out does what he wants. It's not about the cars, the money, it's about just being able to do whatever you want to do. Probably living life to the fullest and putting it on his Instagram, and people love to see that. Like he told me, it's all about freedom. He lives an exciting life and people naturally want to be a part of that. And women love a man that unapologetically does what he wants. I mean, usually girls that know me have a pretty high opinion of me. Um, just because I'm always honest. You know, I'm not like a lot of the LA guys that sell them the dream, that tell them they love them, that tell them they're going to be monogamous and, you know, promise them all this stuff. I just, you know, I just keep it real. You see, the reason women don't like nice guys is because nice guys don't do what they want. They do what they think she wants them to do. That's the difference. Nice guys are always trying to please women. They're not being truly authentic to who they are. This makes her distrust him and makes her feel unsafe because he's not being honest. Let me repeat that. Women like bad boys because they're usually being real with who they are. They're not seeking approval. So don't hold back when you move and speak. Do what you want. Pretending won't get you the girl. The third bad boy trait that he has is that his demeanor is very grounded and relaxed. Like he can handle anything that comes his way. Being grounded is important because it makes women feel safe. If you've been following me for a while, then you know that the most important influencer in a woman's life is how safe she feels. By the way, before I forget, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button right now. Now, before we get into the game-changing technique, let's break down some of the science of what he's doing. Because he consistently applies two psychological principles that make women naturally attracted to him. The first attraction trigger that he applies is status. The Journal of Psychology and Human Sexuality found that women prefer men that are high status. No surprise there. It's because a high status man typically has resources that can provide her and her offspring a good life. With over 22 million Instagram followers, he's pretty high status. Plus, he frequently hangs out with other famous people like Steve Aoki that further enhances his status. Now, of course, one way to become high status is to become famous yourself. You can always hire a marketing team that will help you get more followers on social media, which actually isn't a bad idea. However, there's an easier way that I'll explain in just a bit. The second attraction trigger is called pre-selection. Pre-selection is a principle that means if women see that other women like you, then they'll like you too. Basically, you've been pre-screened. Dan applies this to the max by posting lots and lots of pictures of half-naked women on his Instagram. It creates a sense that he has lots of women fighting for him, and when other women see that, some of them naturally want to sleep with 
him and make him theirs. The simplest way to do this is start going out with girls or groups of girls and post pictures of you with girls. And now I want to talk about the real genius behind Dan Bilzerian. Here's the deal, man. Most guys make meeting women much more difficult than it actually has to be. Most guys look for girls at bars and clubs or online dating sites or apps like Tinder. What's the problem with that, you say? There's so much competition and women have the upper hand. At bars, women are constantly getting hit on so she can be picky about who she goes home with. On apps like Tinder, OkCupid, or Match, she's constantly getting bombarded by guys messaging her. I know a girl that after signing up for Match, she got 739 messages from guys in under two months. 739. She could literally go on a date every day for the next two years without seeing the same guy twice. Now I'm not saying you should stop going to bars and clubs or completely stop using online dating, but there's a much easier way to meet hot and high quality women. So what does Dan Bilzerian do? He sets up his life so that he doesn't have to put in much work to meet girls. I kind of like figured out that life is more about setup. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to like set it up so that I could get laid without like having a bunch of conversations and dates and whatnot. So when I have these pool parties, I'd have like 30 of my friends and you know, male and female. No, 30 of my guy friends, and then right. like two to 300 girls. And how did all those girls get to go there? Uh, you know, promoters, girls, you know, girls who invite girlfriends. Similar to what he does with poker, he makes use of numbers and psychology to make everything work in his favor. You see, instead of going to bars and clubs where the men typically outnumber the women and are all competing against each other, he throws his own party where the man to woman ratio is greater than 10 to 1. And in a situation where there are more women than men, the women will instinctually have an urge to win over the men. Since there's a scarce number of guys, every guy there will seem more attractive and valuable. And that's when the women naturally start fighting over the guys. Imagine hot women fighting over you. Pretty awesome. <laughs> now here are two questions you need to ask yourself to set up your life to get the girls that you want. First, get very clear on what type of girl you're looking for. What age range? What values does she have? What are her hobbies? Is she a party girl? Does she play sports? Is she in college? Etc. Second, where do these types of girls hang out? Is it at bars and clubs? yoga, gym, happy hour, seminars, dance class, cooking class, etc. Now that you know what kind of girl you want and you know where they hang out, let's set up your life so that you attract them naturally and effortlessly. For example, my business partner, he likes girls that are active, healthy, and into well-being. Therefore, he goes to a lot of yoga events because the women there tend to share similar values. Plus, women typically outnumber men in yoga classes. And to take it to the next level, he could become a yoga instructor or hold some sort of leader position in the yoga world. Then women would look up to him because he's the leader. They'd be more attracted to him. Another example is I like Asian women, so I bought a condo in the Philippines. Asian girls typically like white guys, so I live like a king while I'm here and I can be pretty picky about which girl I want. Another way is to use social circle game like Dan. It's simple, instead of forcing women into your social circle, use your existing social circle to draw women in. All you have to do is start hosting parties. Have your friends invite girls and have those girls invite their girlfriends. If you do this consistently, then you'll become the go-to guy that everybody knows and your parties will just keep getting bigger and bigger. Plus, you'll probably start getting invited to more parties yourself. But the beauty about hosting your own parties is that you're usually the highest status person there. Now, with everything in life, you want to play to your strengths. So if you're a social extroverted guy, then start hosting parties regularly like Dan does. But if you aren't the party type or maybe you're a little bit more introverted, then let me share what I do when I go to a new city. Again, it's all about the setup. I find a place to stay in the part of town that has the most amount of beautiful women. That way I'll naturally run into them when I'm going to a restaurant or walking down the street or heading to the gym. And if you follow my system for meeting girls, then you already know how to chat with a girl and get an instant date in less than three minutes. I don't focus a lot of my energy on meeting girls at bars and clubs or online dating. I really don't go out of my way much to meet women. I just simply meet the women that I run into on my daily life. And when you go up to a hot girl walking down the street, she's usually a lot more receptive than if you met that same girl out at a nightclub. And of course, 
not all girls that I meet during the daytime become lovers. So the ones that don't, I put them in my social circle and I'll invite them to a party that I'm throwing or even out to a club. So there you have it, man. How to meet girls without putting in tons of work. And if you want to know exactly what to say to women to make them want you, then make sure to download a free copy of my conversation cheat sheet. You get my top conversation starters for any situation. Simple techniques to never run out of things to say. Simple ways to escalate the interaction and more. Download it right now because you'll want to keep it handy before you go out. So just click the image in the bottom right of this video right now to download your conversation cheat sheet. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want us to personally mentor you, then make sure to check out our bootcamp schedule. My name is Matt Artisan from The Attractive Man, and I'll see you in the next video.